support here, Vedius. This is going to be the final match between Fire and Ice. Well, we've already seen a support taking down a top laner. We've already seen a jungler in our first match take down the top laner. And now we're going to see the jungler versus the support. Now, Tussle regarded as a very talented player in terms of his mechanics. He likes to go for the Lee Sin, he likes to go for the Rek'Sai, he likes to farm to six and get a very early tier mat. He likes to go for these aggressive plays. This is what he's known for. This is what he made a name for himself for during the international wildcard tournament. And Nezul, I wonder how well he's going to be able to deal with this sort of pressure coming out from Tussle. Is he even going to give Tussle the opportunity for go for that pressure? Maybe he'll play for something safe. Maybe he'll go for something like the virus himself. I know you're really highly spoken of Tussle here because when we were sitting out earlier discussing notes about uh, Tussle playing in this 1v1 match, you're like, yeah, you know, last time we saw Tussle play, he was able to 1v9 quite a few of their games. So in a 1v1, probably has an advantage here. Yeah, I mean, his Lee Sin is pretty terrifying. And Lee Sin, reasonable in the one versus one. It, it, he's particularly good against range champions as well, especially if you go for something like the Thunderlaw spec. Uh, you you just have a surprising amount of burst, and you can you can jump to the minions to close the gap. You can throw down the E to get the slow, and then all you need is the ult, the kick, the ignite. You have the damage to deal. It's just a matter of being able to land it. Well, another thing we have yet to see here today, or in these 1v1 matches, is the gentleman's agreement of picking the exact same champion. So there's still a chance here, but I highly doubt it between these two, as we are on to the fifth and final game of the 1v1 tournament between Japan and Latin America North. Nasus and Quinn being banned out here by Team Fire, as Pantheon and Rengar being taken away by Team Ice. I really like the chuckle there from Tussle as he saw the Rengar ban. He was like, ah, you knew what I was going to try and do. <laughs> uh, but it looks like that's going to be taken away. Caitlyn also taken off the board so uh, nothing too unconventional we're looking at the Casio still available Syndra LeBlanc Rise Virus is still up too hey you could go for a trundle again would not recommend it um, but there it is the virus is going to be taken off the board too so <laughs> a lot of mid lane is up and another laugh coming out from Tussle there as he sees the Varus being banned out by Nozul he's hovering over Misfortune I would like to see Misfortune being picked up in a 1v1 wouldn't it be great if we had an Urgot Misfortune final, just like our very own final? It would be it would be so sweet. It certainly would, but we could actually just Yo! see a mirror match here. That is a possibility. Oh. As a Misfortune what one a... trick myself, I'm excited for a this. Misfortune, those exist! <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised, man, yes? Oh my word. <laughs> Australia, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but still, I mean, he's only hovering over. You should never talk about a hoverfish. You know the baits. I don't know. It I mean, it's too could good be, to be true. I, she is pretty good in terms of the one versus one because you can use the Q, the farm to harass the back line. Hey, we do get it. And they both laugh. <laughs> they know <laughs> this was blind. This was not pre planned. There's no gentleman's agreement here. They just both happen to pick Misfortune. So, we are going to a fifth game. It's two to two. Jungler versus support, and they're both playing an AD carry, the same AD carry, to determine who will be moving forward. Couldn't have been scripted better here, Vedias, as we are going into that fifth and final match. Misfortune, you know, we had LeBlanc was still up, Syndra was still available, that was a champion that's been banned out in most of the 1v1 matches so far, but they've still gone for Misfortune instead. Yeah, no Ezreal either, which is very surprising, you know, something that, again, you managed to win on, right? Fish managed to win on it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Fish, I right? feel like that's a little bit of an insult. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're a very good player. I'll give you that. Hey, the winners are casting right now. That's all that matters, all yep, right? That's right. But I mean, we have to we have to talk about this matchup. Misfortune versus misfortune. <laughs> <laughs> right? Both of them use the same skills, okay? Right? Both of them can harass with the Q. Both of them, I don't think they're gonna max the E. I mean, you could for poke, but are you going to play the farm game or are you going to play the all-in? I feel like if you're playing a mirror matchup, you have to play all-in. We also have the opportunity of going 1 AP and 1 AD, but that's not the case because both of them have picked up a Doron's Blade here as both misfortunes will strut into the Howling Abyss for the Snowdown Showdown. Nazul taking on Tussle. Tussle actually going for a bit more sustain with the Biscuit rather than um, a little bit more damage that you can go for. Uh, doing your Mastery Chi. I believe it's the middle one. I forget the name. Uh, let's, the same with ability names. It's a Q W E R. <laughs> middle tree, left, red tree, green tree, blue tree. Well, uh, like, you, like you mentioned earlier, Vedius, you know, two misfortunes. It's tied up 2-2. This is match point for Team Fire and Team Ice as well for today. Both oh of them are tied word. up 2-2. Oh, no, please. Oh, no. <laughs> I was trying to make a point, guys. And they're, <laughs> they're just laughing at your point. That's what they're doing. Well, it all comes down, Vader, as to who's going to press their buttons better here. Yep. Two well, misfortunes. Tussle trying to get the early push on. 
I mean, if you can push the wave underneath the turret, that's definitely a big advantage um, because you know how hard it is to farm underneath the turret. And if they are going to be playing for farm, you want to try and get that lead as soon as you can. So we can see Tussle starting up with the double up. Nozul, on the other hand, taking Make It Rain. And already the double up getting quite a bit of damage down on towards Nozul. Tussle going to try and trade behind the minion life. Getting a, a lot, lot of, damage. of damage down. The double up's going to come back up for Tussle. But he's taking minion aggro the entire time he's trading with Nozul. Interesting that Nozul decided not to go for the Thunderlords. Uh, I, do, I wouldn't be surprised if Tussle actually picked that one up, but the early level 2 from Nezul, right now he is the aggressive, and there's Exhaust! Exhaust and Inite going down, Mega Raid comes out from Tussle! He's, He's gonna be able to get it! First blood comes out from Tussle, and Japan are gonna be the victors of this one-on-one -on -one matchup against oh, Latin American North! Nezul, you tried to take advantage of the early level 2, but Tussle got it on a dime!